going to Barnett R. Britner, success in marriage does not come merely through finding the right mate, but through being the right mate. No one is perfect. Patience and forgiveness will always be required in relationship. Successful marriage partners learn to show unending patience and forgiveness to their partner. Listen to the testimony of Pastor Jerry Uchechukwe. Into our marriage, and, all that, and I was talking to my wife about something. My wife just cleansed the entire table. There were breakable plates and breakable cups on top of the kitchen, and all that. And I was talking to her. She just used her hand like this, cleared all of them on the ground. Yes, serious clearing. Cleared all of them on the ground, and everything guang 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 broke, and all that. And I'm looking. I've never seen that type of thing before, because I mean, where I'm coming from, we're not used to it. We're not used to, and everything just broke like that. Oh, are you afraid for the story I'm telling? My wife hears it. When I tell it, she laughs. She even contributes. Oh yes, because right now her, she's uh, okay. You understand what I'm saying? You know. <laughs> so she even contributes, and you know what? I thank God that I'm able to go through what I went through because the Bible says so that you, I'm, I'm, but I must tell you it was not funny. Mm -mm. It's not the kind of thing that I said, I, I told the people who came on Wednesday, how do you, I was on the streets of London with my wife and went to shop and that time, eh, Kai. And by the time we were there, I said something to my wife because I asked her, ah, you should have told me you were going. And she said, eh, that, why am I saying that? Why am I doing this thing? And I, I thought it was a joke. My wife left me in the shop and went home. I don't live in London. I don't know my way around London. She left me inside the shop and went home. I have stayed there, stayed there, stayed there. I didn't know how to go. And I called her friend and I said, please, oh, I am here. Oh. I don't know how to. I'm calling my wife and my wife is not picking the phone. And her friend called my wife. I asked her, ah, ah, and where are you? I was like, she's like, ah, she's in the house. Is anything the problem? She said, ah, well, you left your husband in the mind. He said, eh, that she, he will find his way and come back. <laughs> have I found before? I've never found my way to come back. And the truth of the matter was that that was how she left me. Her friend had to be the one that would bring me back. And all. You can imagine that type of life. You can imagine that type of life. One day my wife looked at me. One day I was talking to her. She said, hey, they, you have a problem. I told her, yes. What is the problem? She said, the problem is that you like peace too much. <laughs> Heaven bear me witness. She said that. She said, you like peace too much. I said, I like peace too much. He said, yes. You like peace too much. I'm praying with my wife one day, and then we're praying, praying, praying. And she says to me, oh, my time is almost gone. And she says to me, um, while the prayer was going on, she, she touched me, summarized. <laughs> and she told me, say, summarize. And that day I looked at her, I said, even with God too. You know, hot tempered, that's even the word, yeah. hot tempered. You know, so I was hot tempered and um and probably because I watched my parents, I, I didn't I didn't I didn't really regard people. I didn't know how to give respect to people. So these were things and I was stubborn. I was very stubborn. Wow. I was stubborn and highly opinionated. Wow. <laughs> that's the combinations I think. That's serious. Yeah, that's serious. explosive. I'm telling you, highly opinionated. <laughs> so and I loved to argue. Whoa. I could argue. Oh, you can't win me in an argument. <laughs> oh, and I used to argue off point. I don't know if you know I'm off point. Yeah. Argue it's not making sense, not but, making, it's time but because I am opinionated, so I will stand my ground on whatever mm -hmm. I'm saying. And no matter what you're saying, I can't understand you. I don't even want to understand you, if, except you understand me. Wow. And these were things I grew up with. And because... I grew up like that. I didn't even know it was a problem. And my parents won't have pointed it out as a problem because I got it from them. So we are all alike. <laughs> so it was when I now left and got into the university. I think where I even found out that I actually had the problem was when I met my husband. Mm. Because I didn't know I had a problem. I actually thought I was good. And, you know, I love to smile. So I was a smiley kind of person. So it's only when you get to me that you now... You know, you see anger, but if you meet me, you will never know. Oh, yeah. uh, so, yeah. so it was just yeah. beautiful, you know. So I didn't, didn't see it as a problem until I met my husband. Mm -hmm. And in our relationship, we went out for five years. We went out for five years before we got married. So it was in that, you know, in our going out, then he, he starts to point out things. And I'm like, what is the problem? As in, I don't see it as a problem. When I was arguing, people used to tell me, you know, people used to hail me. <laughs> for my arguing skills, <laughs> you know, and, and they'll be telling me how I have had two people want to sponsor me to read law. 
because I could argue. <laughs> so it was a, it was it was a strength. Yes, <laughs> that was what I thought. It was a strength. Mm. So how do I now meet a man and he's telling me that this is not a strength? Yeah. This is this is this is terrible. Yeah. You know you can't continue that way. So it was a lot to battle with, and not knowing you know by the time we got married, this thing started to put a strain in our relationship, and it became so bad because the the man I married was such. An amazing man he came from a background that was very peaceful he's a very peaceful person till date he is very peaceful he doesn't like problems trouble nothing but me I came from a home that did not know what peace looked like so peace for us was you shout and that's peace. Yeah. When it's not peace, it's when you start boxing, <laughs> when you start fighting. Eh? <laughs> so if I'm talking, we're like, why are you raising your voice? Why? I'm like, me. I said, there's no problem. We've not, nothing is happening yet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so my husband couldn't just understand where I was coming from. And I think another problem I had was that I didn't really have an understanding of what God had put in his life mm -hmm. and who he was and who he was to people and because everything I did was affecting him even to ministry mm -hmm. you know you have a ministration you're going to go for you don't want to have an argument mm -hmm. before a ministration but I didn't even understand all these things at that time so I can make him so upset before he goes for administration I think it just took God to help my husband during that period because you have to show up to the people and you have to give to them yeah. you know and it's now that I'm doing ministry it's now that God has that I now understand the place I put him in you know those years because you 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 need you need you need a, a, a mind that is you know at peace and you need a free spirit even to receive from God you don't need offense you can't you can't you can't receive from the Holy Spirit with offense so you imagine what I was doing I think the devil was just using me you know at that point and these things were things that caused a lot of strain to the extent that at some point my husband even you know stopped talking much to me he'll just be quiet you I can say everything I want to say he'll just be nodding his head and you're expecting that he shouldn't just nod but he was just nodding because because you know I don't know the next thing I'll say and you flip you know you you go off and and I won't know how to control you so and just to go back to what you said sir about you know him saying I left him do you know the truth is that angry people most times when they do the things they do they don't even know what they are doing they don't remember wow they don't remember what they what they do because they do it in in anger in the heat of the moment it's an emotion that it's uncontrolled and because you react you know based on that emotion by the time you come back to your senses by the time you calm down you forget too many things you did in the heat of that outburst wow. so is the people that you have offended or hurt that are the remember. people that can remember what you did yeah. my husband has also reminded me he, one of the times he spoke he said he can remember the times I, I i threw plates out of anger do you know i can't remember it and i tell my show is me i said it can't be me <laughs> no i couldn't have done that me my me now yeah. no it's not me but you see but these are things you do yeah. and it keeps you know it keeps it keeps it keeps you know there was something i said in my book and i said that um, I said something I'm sure you must have read it when I said that, you know, um, today, today marriages, what is breaking homes is not even, it's not as much as, you know, those days where you say maybe it's um, infidelity. Yeah. The things that are breaking homes today are these little, little things. They look little, but you see anger, you see, uh, you see whether it's being highly opinion, opinionated, disrespect, unforgiveness, you know, assumptions. Yes, you know, assumptions, these yeah. things are eating into homes. Wow. And without you knowing, that's why you hear people say uh, irre irreconcilable uh, differences. differences. Yes. Yes. What are those things that, yeah. you know? And then you sometimes you ask, you say, what happened? What, yes. What, so I don't even know what happened in our marriage, uh, but we don't want to be married anymore. Indeed. But they can't pinpoint exactly what it was because it's those little things. Those little things. Wow. Those are those little foxes. You yes. know, they are the little foxes. And that's why this book is, is so timely and it's so good we're talking about it today. Yeah. Praise the Lord. But thank God for your husband. He's so patient. Oh, God bless him. Oh. God bless He's me. He's very patient. He took a lot from me. Yes. There were days I would bang the door at him. We'll be talking... <laughs> And you know this is <laughs> see even you 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 you're the one you say ah <laughs> you, you can't even imagine it yeah. Yeah, because the reason I went ah yeah. was because 
when we married, we were not Christians. Yes. And because I've seen my father, the way he dealt with my mom. Yes. I knew she was, she grew up in Europe. Yes. And European ladies have this attitude. When yes. they get angry, bang the door. Was, so I had to sit down with her mm. and say, sis, whenever you get angry, don't bang the door. <laughs> Just call me into a room quietly yes. so we can talk. Yes. So I said, our children must never yes. just bang door or shout or fight. Mm -hmm. And we thank God. All these years, it never happened. She just come in the room. We sit down. We talk. When we finish and everything's okay, we're out back to normal. Mm. I said, so don't bang door. So when you, when you say you bang door, that's why I went, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, that was it because yeah. maybe we'll start talking and at some point, I can't take it anymore. It's yeah. it's yeah. probably it's not going the way I want it to. That's, that's you know? what it is. So I'm like, you know what? Whatever yeah. wants to happen, let it happen. Yes. Wow. And I walk out, I bang the door, and he's there. And he will not he won't chase me. He won't come after me. He won't raise his hands. He won't raise his voice. He will just stay there. Even you know what he used to do those days? He would just cry. My husband would cry. Oh. I made him cry. Oh. I made it's when he starts to cry. And I realize okay it's really bad it's bad what you did is bad <laughs> because when i'm doing these things i don't even know mm. wow that you know this i'm going too far you yeah. know it's like you don't know where the boundary lines yeah. are anymore yeah. so it's only when you now see him then i'm like okay mm. oh you've just gone this is this you shouldn't have gone this way then i start begging mm. then i start begging i will need that beg i will start begging and my husband always tell me then i'm not a bulb you know, a light bulb that you switch on, on and, and off, off at, yes. you know. Patience is not the ability to wait, but the ability to keep a good attitude while waiting. One minute of patience, ten years of peace. With love and patience, nothing is impossible. Patience and perseverance have a magical effect before which difficulties disappear and obstacles vanish. Thank you, Pastor Jerry for being patient. We are benefiting from it today. If you enjoyed my video, don't forget to subscribe and drop your comments. Thank you.